Okay, we're sitting inside the, the Polara, and uh, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the plan that I have with it at the moment. I definitely hated the wheels that was on it. It was the uh, 15 by six or seven, whatever, had large tires on it, the hubcaps. It didn't look great under the car. So I ordered a new set of wheels, which you guys uh, will see shortly. I got them real cheap. Got them 380 bucks for a full set, and I'll explain to you how I did that. Uh, and I'll also explain to you why I did what I did as far as uh, picking this style of wheels for the car. The car is in really good shape for its age. It has 87,000 miles on it, and I believe that to be original because the body's in such good shape under the hood, the interior, all that. So what I wanna do instead of doing a restoration, I just wanna clean it up to the best of my abilities without going overboard and making a nice cruiser out of it. The first thing I wanna do is tackle the rust that's in the back passenger side quarter panel and a few spots that's on the hood for some reason or another. Also fix the little small places on the top of the car where the vinyl top goes and order a vinyl top for it, which I got the vinyl top real cheap and I'll show you that as well. As for the paint, I plan on doing a uh, clay bar and dipsy and polish it out, give it a good wash and buff it to try to get the shine back. How I'm gonna address the quarter panel where the rust is and the hood is dad's retired. He's got nothing better to do. He's really good at body work. And I'm gonna have him fix those couple places. And then I'm gonna go out and get the original color and do some patch, patch painting on the hood and the back quarter panel. So after we have that done, then we'll polish it, clay bar it, buff it out, put the top on it, put the wheels on it, clean the interior. There's a few places in the interior that needs to be addressed and we'll take care of that. And then we're gonna stop on it for a little while. Um, when you do a budget, when you do a budget uh, build or restoration or whatever, it's best to you know, have some money put back and then just wait for the right time. And that's what I'm gonna do as far as the motor and transmission. I'm not gonna just go out and look for something right now I'm going to wait for something to pop up. Maybe a old uh, Dodge pickup, 400, 727, or Cordoba, uh, Newport, you know, Polaro, what, whatever, Monaco. Something will pop up and I'll grab it when it comes up. So that's, uh, that's the plan for now. And then we're gonna work on some of the other projects. As you can see, it's snowing, it's cold, windy out here. I don't wanna be out here. Um, one of the things I need to get is the trunk trunk lock because this key uh, it works but uh, that's not what I want to do. I have this emblem ordered. It came in the mail today. Uh, it was used. Came from California. Took forever to get here. Don't ask me why. Paint's good. We just got spots where we've been touching it and it is dull so we'll be able to clean that up really nice. Lights, bumpers, all the trim, all that stuff real good. But here's the problem I have. There is a few spots here that are just kind of wavy. And then there is, there is the rust. So, that's gonna fix that and we're going to mask all this off, paint it the original color. The rest of the body looks good. We've got these couple holes here. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a masking line here or if I'm going to just get an airbrush and kind of brush it in, we will see. All these fingerprints. I blame Johnny for that. But it looks good. Uh, Dad's going to fix that as well. Painting $300 to do the body work on it, and I'll do the paint. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Got some spots here. Not very bad. I know it looks bad in the video. It's not very bad. We got to pull all that trim off all these strip rails off just so we could put the vinyl top on it and we are not going to show the bodywork and how it's done for the simple fact that everybody that has a keyboard also is uh, a uh, Barrett Jackson style body body man they know how to do everything and I'm not gonna get into those arguments. We've been doing this for years, never had any problems. And the problems that we've had, we've learned from them. So we're very well aware of how we can take care of this. So stay tuned. The wheels and stance on a car is what makes a car in my opinion. I do not like the gap between the wheel and the fender well here. So we're gonna see what we can do. 
took this picture, photoshopped wheels and a top on there and asked my friends what they liked the best. So we got the drag lights and the black top. This was just for fun. Of course, we got the Krager SS's and the black top. Got the Torque Thrust 2's, black top, white letters. Steel wheels with the uh, dog dish style hubcaps. And then here's the Krager's with the white top if I decided to go that route. And the drag lights and the white top just for fun. Everybody wanted me to get the steel wheels and the dog dish hubcaps. So I went to uh, one of my favorite secluded locations and checked to see if I could find some dog dish hubcaps. I found a pair that resembled Dodge hubcaps that were matching. So checked on eBay. These were advertised as Dodge Poverty Dog Dish wheel covers, but the same ones also said that they were for a Pinto or a Bobcat. So let's try them. No dice, they were for a Ford. Aftermarket steel wheels and the Dog Dish hubcaps are out of my price range. So second best is the Torque Thrust 2s. Let's see if we can find a good deal on them. First things first, we'll go to the American Racing website and get the part number. And we'll start with the 15 by sevens. We're gonna put on the front. We'll grab the part number, copy and paste it. And then we'll take it over to Summit Racing and see what the price is. And they appear to be $106. So we're gonna compare those with JEGS. $106, same price. Let's switch it over to Speedway Motors. Copy and paste it. $106. Everybody's real competitive. So go to an eBay, go to price plus shipping lowest first, and we'll see what we can find. $106. I did a screenshot video after I had ordered them, but I actually found them for $92.86 each. And I snatched those two up and had them shipped over to the house. Did the same process for the 15 by eight and I came across a scratched and dent special for 85 bucks. So it's gonna show us the pictures of the scratches and they're extremely small. It's missed a couple screws, I've got some actually. And then I grabbed me a 15 by eight and found the cheapest one. Went to the tire shop and I found these 295 50 15s. I got these for a hundred bucks, mounted and balanced. We'll break down the full cost of the wheels and tires at the end of the video. Got a package delivered in the mail today from Top Creations out of Oklahoma City. Um, this is the vinyl top. They had it in stock and they shipped it to me. Total price was $113.09. Um, this guy doesn't have a website. He doesn't have yellow pages. He just does it by referral. Um, I looked on eBay and these things were going for $260 on up. So let's open up and see what looks like. We bought tops from him before. Put in a picture of the Challenger. Uh, this, is the, this is the style that we were looking for. It's more pliable. It's not exactly the style that they had in 69, but this is in the later uh, 70 on up Mopars. I'm not gonna pull it out of the box because we're not ready yet. Hey buddy, how you doing? I had these headers on a big block Chevelle that I built not too long ago. I'll show you the picture right here. Those 295-50-15 BF Goodrich tires came off of a 72 Chevelle big block. They were looking for uh, large tube headers and I had these left over. So I traded them for the front tires that match. Blemished wheel to the tire shop. We're gonna get one of them put on today, at least, I hope. And there it is.
What's this all about? I gotta figure out how to pull those back in and take it off. Car's pretty rigid, jacked it up right here. Got the whole front wheel off the ground. This is a unibody car too, so it's kind of crazy. Well, I'll keep working at it. You can see the difference in width between the wheels and tires that was on it once I'm getting ready to put it on it. Definitely changed the looks. All right, back in the Polar again. Uh, it's probably gonna be all we're gonna do for this video. I know you wanted to see all of the wheels put on the car. I still have one 15 by eight. Hasn't even shipped out yet. It's not gonna be here for another couple weeks. That is coming from Speedway Motors. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I have my fronts come in, but until I get my back, it's not really, not really that big of a deal. So uh, I'm gonna run down real quick on what I've got in this car so far. Just so you guys know where I'm at. I paid $700 for the car by itself, pulled the motor and transmission, gave it back to the guy I got it from. He he uh, said if I pulled the motor and trans out of it, I could have it for 700 bucks. I bought the C-body manifolds, power steering, the pump and the brackets, uh, a few little odds and ends here and there. Uh, I paid $175 for that. I did get a title for the car. It is on its way. Uh, it may take two months to get here. I have a title lady over in Arkansas. If you want that information, just send me a message and I'll get that to you. I bought a pair of 295.50s, 15s, for 100 bucks. Had those mounted and balanced. The 15 by 7s, 15 by 8s, Torque Thrust 2s, I bought those. The lug nuts shipped. Are you tired, Paisley? I'm sorry. $430. The American racing wheels that I bought are 15 by sevens in the front, 15 by eights in the back. The back are four and a half inch backspace. Got a 295 50 15 tire on the back. It probably needs a quarter inch spacer because it almost rubs the leaf spring. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Paisley, let me, let me talk. I paid dad $300 to do the body work. He's gonna be starting that here pretty soon. The vinyl top was $118.09 shipped to my house. It took two days. I got a really good deal on that. So, so far we are right under two grand in the whole car. If you wonder why I keep looking down, it's because I have an Excel spreadsheet that I'm looking at. This to me is the easiest way to keep up with what I've paid for it so I can keep you guys in the know on how I do it, what I've, what I've done so far. The car was running and driving when I got it. So we know that the brakes are good and the fuel is good, all the lines, everything works. So it's a complete car. It's gonna be really nice after we get the body work done on it and the top, polish it out and the wheels on it. And all we'll need is the motor and transmission. It'll be something cool to drive for very cheap. We'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget, thumbs up, Subscribe and ring the bell to notify you for future videos. Also, you can check us out on Instagram. Here is the code. Thank you guys very much for watching.